Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Dawson, a professor in the College of Innovation and Technology. Today I'm going to give you an overview of our master's in biology. So why get an MS degree in biology? Well, you can gain the knowledge and skills you need to innovate in molecular biology, ecology, or other biology-related fields. It can open up new opportunities in terms of employment or professional schools and give you a higher earning potential. So what is it that sets U of M Flint's program in biology apart? It's the MS in biology blends sophisticated hands-on training and techniques within new areas of research. We have expert faculty across multiple fields within biology, such as molecular biology, microbiology, biotechnology, genetics, ecology, organismal biology and behavior. We have a comprehensive curriculum, which I'll introduce to you to in upcoming slides. Our laboratories are state-of-the-art and some were just recently updated. We also have small class sizes, which gives students an opportunity to work closely with faculty. And courses are often lab intensive or field intensive where new techniques are taught. So our program has two options. The thesis option is when you work closely with a professor to complete directed research over a few years. This requires courses in a graduate thesis and thesis research, and additional graduate level courses in biology to complete 30 credits. Our other program option is the non-thesis option, which requires a graduate level seminar course and additional graduate level courses in biology to complete 32 credits. So for our graduate core courses, we have a course in scientific methodology, and then a course in either advanced cellular molecular biology or advanced ecology evolutionary biology, depending on your interests. So we have a very comprehensive graduate curriculum, and I wanted to share the broad number of course options available to you. So as you can see, we have anatomy courses, we have wildlife courses, courses in physiology. We have pre-medical, behavior, biomechanic courses. We have evolution and quite a few organismal courses. We have molecular courses, special topics, classes, and even a non-thesis research course if you are a non-thesis student that wants to do some research. One bonus in our MS in Biology program is that if you have courses that you're interested in that don't have a biology prefix, for example, maybe you're interested in public health courses, geographic information science, biochemistry, um, you can take up to eight credits in our program outside of biology, as long as it's a related life science. So our admission requirements are a bachelor's degree in biology or related life science from an accredited institution. Um, your minimum undergraduate grade point average should be at least a 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. And then we do require that you have a minimum GPA of 3.0 in the required prerequisite courses, cell biology, ecology, genetics, organic chemistry, pre-calculus mathematics, general physics, statistics, preferably biostatistics. It's easy to apply. You can apply online. You will need official transcripts from undergraduate institutions, a statement of purpose, uh, letters of recommendation, and make sure to choose recommenders who can attest your ability to excel in courses and in research if you're pursuing the thesis option. The GRE is not required. Thank you so much and we are looking forward to your application.